throughout the entirety of the body, nerves run close to other structures. They don't run in a vacuum like they're in space. They run next to muscles, between muscles, next to bone, between muscles and bone, etc. And there are only a few circumstances and areas in the body where they can be compressed in a significant way. And most of those occur in the spine. And when it comes to sciatic symptoms that you're experiencing from this supposed piriformis syndrome, it's going to be these lower two segments of the lumbar spine, L4-5 and L5-S1. As these nerves leave these sections of the spine, that is where they are vulnerable to being compressed and irritated. And what's worse is that you often won't necessarily get back pain at the time you have this injury. It is very common for people to have sciatic symptoms in the leg with no back pain to speak of. The reason that this area is so peculiar in the lower back is because the entire margin of this hole where the nerve runs through is occupied by bone. It's not as is in the case of other areas of the body, bone with stretchy muscle or skin tissue on the side, or muscle with stretchy skin tissue on the side, it's bone in a tube. So when you injure, say for example, the disc and it bulges, Inflammation collects in this small space relatively quickly and sends signals out. These could be pain or they could be signals to certain muscles that are controlled by that section of the spine. When we have any injury to these sections of the lumbar spine, it is perfectly reasonable to get buttocks, thigh, lower leg, and even some symptoms into the toe, depending on which exact level of the spine is affected. But those L4 and L5 segments, or the L4-5 and L5-S1 segments of the spine, happen to control the buttocks muscles, and that includes your piriformis. So if we have any kind of injury to those levels, not only can we get the pain down into the leg, but we could also get symptoms of dysfunction in the muscles that are controlled by that segment of the spine. So it is perfectly reasonable that the piriformis, as well as many others, are going to be tight, tender, maybe have knots in them, maybe be sensitive to touch, and maybe have some trigger points. But the simple truth is those muscles are all likely to, or can reasonably be, affected in the case of this lumbar issue.